The Lagos state government said it has begun the search for all the contacts of the Italian, the first confirmed case of the virus in Lagos and in Nigeria. This was disclosed by the state governor, Babajinde Saonolu, who is also the chief incident commander of the state at the press briefing in Lagos. Our correspondent, Messi Emmanuel, has the details. Nigeria government, through its Ministry of Health, has confirmed the first case of coronavirus in Lagos. Also the first in West Africa since the outbreak in China in January 2020. It is the second confirmed case in Africa, following one recently recorded in Algeria. The first spreading virus has been reported in over 20 countries across Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and lately in Africa. The victim is an Italian traveler who works in Nigeria and just returned from Milan, Italy, on 25th of February 2020. The chief incident commander of the state, Governor Babajide Sonwolu, said the state emergency operation center has been activated to attend to this case. Um, we have triggered all our various levels of um, power security and containment. Like I did mention, we are up till early hours of this morning contacting both the federal authority, um, including Mr. President, and um, everybody that needs to be aware, um, including the facility that uh, the, this patient had had contact with, um, the chairman of the company and everybody in the company, they've been very supportive. They had proactively also contilled um, um, their own staff. We had gone out, uh, people are out there now trying to track every of um, uh, suspected interaction um, that this patient might have had contact with and we're ready, our facility has been fortified to um, continue, if need be, of any form of tests and um, containment, if, if need be. Lagos State Commissioner of Health Professor Akin Abayomi has confirmed the patient is clinically stable and is being treated at a dedicated facility for infectious disease hospital in Yaba, Lagos. The important thing to know now is that the patient is confined. We have aggressively started to identify all his contacts all the way to the airline and that process started around 3 a.m. Uh, this morning. It continues as we speak. We would like to assure everybody that we are on this case to make sure that we can identify everybody that he has come into contact with. His symptoms are subsiding. He does not have any symptoms of respiratory disease. In Lagos, we have been building capacity steadily. We've fortified support at the airport by sending state health professionals to support the federal authorities. The form has been developed, so all travelers are to fill in those forms as they arrive. At our infectious disease facility, we have ramped up our capacity to isolate suspected cases. We are now sitting on about an 80-bed isolation facility because of the uh, emergency funds that have been released by the incident commander. We are continuing to build more capacity should in case we have an increased number of cases in Lagos. We have a very aggressive public uh, awareness campaign going on and we have engaged in extensive training across the hierarchy of health professionals in Lagos State. The Lagos State Ministry of Health, in collaboration with Nigeria Center for Disease Control, assured Lagosians that it will continue to provide updates and will initiate all measures required to prevent the spread of the outbreak in Lagos. Reporting for PLUS TV Africa, Mercy Emmanuel.